Hello everybody, it's the Red Road Homestead. Well, I got it done. So here's just a short one to show you what I did. I got four cinder blocks under that pallet right there. And then I got the, what you call it, drum up on top. I use my dollar store plant clips because I got this um, netting on Amazon. It's got a string to pull tight. It don't hold. So what I did was I pulled the string as tight as it would come. And I put the clamps on <coughs> to keep debris and stuff from falling in. And as you can see, I got the spigot towards the garden for once I can get the hosing that I want to get for the garden. And yeah, I'm hoping this is going to work. I did get the spigot out of the other um, drum and saved it in case we can use it later on on the homestead. So, you know, we don't get rid of nothing. If it can be used again, it will be used again. So yeah, this will should work out fine. I just need to get the hosing now to where I can actually get these tomatoes the water they need and get something going here. My garden's not doing that great. I can't get my rototiller started, so yeehaw. But then again, um, Little Wolf's building me some um, raised beds and I can always put them over the grassy area over there, put down my cardboard, then my sticks, leaves, compost, and then fill it up with the soil and the nutrients it will need. So, yeah, we're getting there. It's all trial and error this year. First year, garden in Tennessee. My garden and my buckets were way better last year. But, hey, I'm learning. Never been this far down south. So, we'll get it going. I'm a big old potato plant. I already threw some twigs in there from that I cut off the fig trees where it had died and I thought it was gone. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I got sinuses and it just keeps draining. So, anyway, I'm going to let you all go. Have a good one. Bye for now.